Hello and welcome back to What Time? Will Oak Tech Time, where the focus is on the NVIDIA Shield. My name's Paul Marriott. In today's episode, part two of the tutorial on Sideload Channel Launcher 2. Four main areas we're going to look at today. Saving your configuration or layout, exporting your layout, or even importing other layouts. Creating tiles with several apps inside them. Widgets even. Getting and installing custom tiles and icon packs. And finally, bookmarks to web pages. So you can set a tile and link it to a web page or website. Like what you see? Consider subscribing to the channel. Newsflash. Breaking news. Just as we're making this video, turns out there's been a new update to the app and it's just got a whole lot better. You can now add profiles. More of that in a further video. I'll do my best to get it out the next few days. Let's get stuck in. The first thing we're going to look at is saving your configuration, the exporting and importing layouts or settings. So we go down to app settings, open that up. We're going to export what we've got at the moment. So we go down to import export configuration and select export. Click on that and it tells you there the route to where it's been saved. Click out of there, come out of there. Now we're going to import a previously saved setting, previously saved layout. This just includes <coughs> just includes some tiles and icon sets. We go to in, import, go to our storage where we've where we've got that saved. Now they're normally saved by default in the Sideload Launcher 2, Sideload Channel Launcher 2 folder. That's one we want to import and there we go, tiles and icons have changed. As you can see we've got two clocks there, that's uh, something we'll talk about in a further video but we can get rid of that quite easily. This particular version is an updated version to the one I did the original tutorial on. And as you saw there, we've got some backgrounds that come as you hover over. OK, so let's go back into settings, go down and import the, the first one that we exported. We'll go down to the folder side load channel 2, open that up and we'll scroll all the way down to where they're saved. You can see that they're um, <coughs> saved in this format. You can, with the new version that's coming that I'll do the new video on, you can actually save them, giving them a name. Let's move on to tiles with app drawers. Okay, so we'll open up admin mode and we're going to create a tile on this row, for example. Custom tile. You can do it with an application and then add other things, but let's just do a custom tile. And then you come down to apps click to add and then you're going to select a bunch of apps that you want in your tile just for the example of this particular uh, video I'm going to add those APK editors extractors and cloners and just add those in just to just as a demonstration okay those are all there well oh, we've got app, app toy as well why not and we'll come on down to the bottom and save it you can see those other things, space left, space right, custom tile wallpaper. That's another thing we'll talk about in a further video. So we've come out of there, we've saved it, come out of there, and we come back down to the bottom and close off admin mode. And now we'll just go and check it and go up to the side load. That icon, that can always be changed, that tile. You can always put in a custom tile there when you want. As you can see, all those uh, apps are in there. Fine, so let's move on to getting and installing custom tiles and icon packs. Well, let's just have a look at some of the icon packs that are uh, available from various APK stores. Um, not, all, not all icon packs will be compatible with Sideload Channel Launcher 2. These ones here are and we will have a full list over in our group 
We have a full list over in our group on Facebook um, and also in the description. We'll put a, a small list, but we'll have the full list over in the group. Please join that if you can. Meanwhile, I'm just resetting from that particular icon set to put in the settings icon. We'll save that. Come down and close off admin mode. And as you can see there, we've got the new icon for settings. Great places to get icon packs are from the APK stores. Um, there's aptoid.tv, also apkpure.com, also appsapk.com, appapkmirror.com, and many others. Just do a search for APK stores. OK, and the last thing we're going to look at is putting a link to a web page. So we go into settings and we're going to go up to the tile that we configured earlier and come down to add. In there, we're going to scroll all the way down to add website URL. It'll by default it'll come up with the www and then I'm going to put in bit.ly bit.ly forward slash what noobs. Make sure you click done. That's our noobs and nerds Facebook group. Please come and join us over there. Link in the description. We also have the the Sideload Channel Launcher to dump group as well. So two groups to join. We come down and say, come out of there and save, and come out of admin mode, close admin mode, and we just go back up to that tile where we've just configured that, and down the bottom is the link. You can also separate set a separate tile if you wish to a web page just do it as a custom tile okay that loads up the page that we've just um, configured the video shield TV noobs and nerds noobs nerds and in between us group on Facebook here you see a couple of examples of the work produced over in the uh, noobs dump group at the side of the channel launcher to dump group if you've enjoyed this video we hope you'll give us a like subscribe to the channel Give us your comments down below. Do you already use this launcher? Do you use a different launcher? Which is best? Comments down below. No more for now. Time for me to say, we'll catch you when you catch us in the next one. Turtle pip.